Oh, I just got hit eight right there. It's a big bait, so I'm gonna let him eat it for a bit of time. There he is. All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. It is a gorgeous morning down here in Florida. I got the Fishaholic rig hooked up, and I'm hopping in the car with my girl, Karina, and we are heading about an hour north on the Indian River, and you'll launch, go out, just have an inshore day on the water and see if we can maybe get some nice jack or ball, snook, trout, redfish, or whatever else wants to bite. You ready to do it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. so we're gonna stop at Publix, get a pub sub, and then hit the water. So, see you guys there. All right, we made it to our first spot. I'm gonna grab a bigger size mullet out of here. Something that'll attract the attention of a big hungry snook. That'll do right there. I'm gonna cast this mullet out now. And I'm gonna try to get him to swim in shallow there, close to the mangroves where I believe there should be some nice big snook lurking or Jack Creval cruising up and down here. There you go, keep letting them swim. I'm moving us a little closer. My mullet swam straight out from there. Hmm, the water is really clear today. I'm gonna put this cooler up here so I can see a little bit further it looks like there's some shadows right in there that kind of looks snook like I see some big fish waking in there see that wake right there that's a big fish or a lot of big fish it might be hard for you to see but you can see it's, it's swimming this way to the left that might be Jack Creval Alright guys, taking a little break to have some of this pub sub and I'm seeing some fish cruising here but they're not really eating it seems. So we're going to take a little chill pill, refuel and then get back to it. Maybe after like 30 more minutes if we don't get a snook or anything or at least a jack creval, then I'll go in there and get maybe some small little maharas and take them out for triple tail. Yeah, the outgoing tide I think just started because the angle of the boat has changed and my mullet was out there swimming along the mangroves and then he ended up over here and I could start to see some of the current if I let my mullet go. So we were fishing the end of the incoming the last like hour or so and these fish are real finicky. But maybe with the change of tide, they'll turn on. Oh, I just got hit eight right there. It's a big bait, so I'm gonna let him eat it for a bit of time. There he is. Yeah, I still have him. I think you're okay. Big fish, though. Look, there's a bunch of them right here cruising. You see them? Mm -hmm. Oh God, no! See now what he, this fish is going to probably try and do is try and pull me to the mangroves. If I'm lucky, I'm this fish won't do it. Just turned them. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. 
no, no. Uh, this is a good size fish here. I only got 30 pound fluoro, so I gotta play her light. Wait for her to calm down and tie her out. I'm constantly playing with the drag and sometimes I back off on the drag completely and just give it pressure by pushing on the spool with my fingertips. Babe, can you get the net? I want you to net this one because because this is going to be good practice for you with big fish. There she is. So you want to get that head in the net first. Here she comes. Head first, scoop, scoop, scoop. Nice. And then how and, and then how you're gonna lift the fish up so you don't damage the net is watch this. Is it damaging? Nope. Well you, you don't if you lift it straight up like this, like that, you can break it right here. Oh. So what you do is once the fish is in the net, then you turn it right side up like that, and then you just lift them up. Just like that. Nice fish. Good work with the net job. Thanks, baby. Oh, sure. <laughs> we got one. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> All right, so before I measure this fish, I'm just gonna get the bump board a little wet there. Let's get this big girl out of the net. Look at that perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, and the hook just literally popped right out. This very yeah, it's a thick one, a thick pre-spawn snook. All right, pinching the tail. This fish is just about 36 inches. Sweet. Let's get her back. All right. Let's get this thick overslot back. Oh, there she goes, nice and strong. Whew. Thanks, baby. All right, Shaholic. So, just taking a quick break from the fish in action to shout out today's video sponsor, Navalis Apparel. And I know my shirt doesn't look great now because I was just tossing the cast net around, but it is some of my favorite apparel to wear out on the water. It's ultra soft, so it's super comfortable. It also protects me from the sun, and I absolutely love it. And it's also not just apparel for men, it's also great apparel for women. So, if you're looking for a great gift for your girlfriend or your wife, definitely check it out. And also, Mother's Day is coming up so it might be a great Mother's Day gift so again link in the description as well as a code uh, so you can save on your entire order now let's get back to the fishing let's try this mullet for you babe yeah it looks like there's a couple more big ones just right in front of us here all right here you go you just hold it I'm gonna retie and put on a fresh bait myself Feed them line, keep feed them line, babe. You just got a big bite. All right, close the bail and start reeling. No, he took it. Ah, oh, you lost them. Look, now he's in there popping it. Dang, babe, you just fed him. It was a loss. Yeah, but that's the name of the game. And see your leader right here, how it's all frayed up. Mm -hmm. So the fish had it in its mouth, but for whatever reason, he was awesome. Even with this sharp hook, it didn't get him. That fish pulled hard though, right? Yeah. <laughs> it like ripped the line out of her hand. That definitely was probably your personal best on the end of the line there. All right, so it's been like 30, 40 more minutes and only one more interested snook looked at my bait. And since then, it's been kind of slow. Wait, you actually had one more snook that followed your bait in right oh, okay yeah, i was fixing 
a hole in the cast and that's why I didn't see it but Karina said she saw another snook follow her bait in and I think we should take a break from doing this maybe go out there see if we can get some triple tail but first I want to go in there shallow and see if we can get some small little maharas pinfish croaker whatever uh, like small type of bait fish that's like two to three inches that we could go pot to pot with out there and possibly get a triple tail so I'm gonna grab the net get in there and let's see what we get Got some Maharas. Vamo Karina, vamo. Look at those perfect baits right there. That's what's gonna catch us a triple tail. All right guys, check it out. I got a bunch of these little Maharas and some little greenies like that. Perfect triple tail bait. These will be great snook baits too. Some of these Maharas are kind of on the bigger side. All right guys, check this out. We also got some little croakers, which are gonna be perfect snook or big triple tail bait. So let's go triple tail fishing now. All right guys, so we were just about to leave this spot, but I threw this mullet out while I was getting trying to get ready for triple tail and something big just hit it. There he is. I don't know what it is, but it's something big. Oh. It could be a big snook. Oh. Ooh, this is a real heavy fish. Oh man. That's my bet. No, it's a snook, I think. But the way it's fighting it, could it be a redfish? You know, generally snook like like to jump or like flare up with their mouth wide open when they go to the surface. But this fish is kind of just bulldogging me and has a good amount of you know weight and just kind of staying lower in the water column. Well, you've saw you've seen, yeah. All right, I just got this fish right out by the boat. Oh, it's a nice snook. Nice snook. Oh, he saw the boat and he's taken off. Whoo! What? <laughs> Look at what this fish is doing. Oh my gosh. It just saw the boat and just is, is going all the way back to the mangroves now. And I think, I believe it's another overslot size fish, so I'm trying to play it lightly. And I believe the leader on this rod is 40 pound fluoro. So it's a little heavier than, you know, but not heavy, you know, so I'm gonna play it light as if I was using 30 because it seems like this fish is hooked pretty well. And now it's just a matter of getting them to the net without them fraying through the leader. Isn't it so funny that we were right about ready to call it quits and one of the reasons I threw the mullet out while I was going to get ready for triple tails because I saw a bunch of mullet freak out and jump out of the water and I was like that looks too good to pass up let's just chuck it out there as I tie in a couple little circle hooks for triple tail and this guy crushed it I had the bait runner in free spool and the line just started flying off baby you want to get ready with the net here she comes. Just dip it right down. Dip it right down. There you go. And then remember, just lift straight up and bring her right in over here. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. Good work, babe. All right, let's get that a little wet. So let's get this girl out of the net. Oh, it sounds like they're blitzing right behind us there. Yeah, something's chasing the mullet still. Look at that perfect hook set, just like the first fish. All right, I'm thinking this one probably will go like 35. <laughs> Look at that, 35 on the dot. Nice, let's get her back. Oh, 
Oh, oh. There she goes. Phew. Oh my wow. gosh. The, mo the mullet are really getting chased right now. Another like explosion of mullets just erupted. And the birds are coming. From, yeah, Does and the, really and the go get triple tail? <laughs> I, I, I think we should go look because I got I wasted time getting the triple tail bait. Okay. So we're gonna just go check like three or four pots quick and then we'll probably come right back to this spot. <laughs> and in case I didn't explain well while, while I was fighting that fish, basically what happened is all of our lines were up. I caught the triple tail bait and I saw Karina's rod here in, and the line was in the well with a mullet on it still. And I was like, well, you know, it's gonna take like five, 10 minutes to like rig up for triple tail. So I'm like, we might as well have a line in the water cause you never know. I threw it out there after I also saw some mullet jump. So it looked like something was chasing them. And what was it like a minute? Yeah, it was a minute. And then the free spool just started going zoo, 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 and the, the rod was just shaking like that. So I'm like, oh God, R ran over there quick and just put it in. Um, I actually, well, I opened the bale to give him more line and then I flipped the bale over, put it in gear and got him. So I'm sorry I got that fish on your rod, babe, but that's why I always tell you, you gotta have a line in the water. There's no problem. <laughs> you can't catch them without a line in the water. So um, thank you. I'm glad at least I threw it out there. But yeah, there's like four pots, five pots that are nearby. I think we'll just take a look at them quickly to see if there's triple tail because earlier I saw two. So we'll take a quick look there and then just come back here probably within like 30, 40 minutes and we'll maybe give it like another hour or two and then probably call it a day. So I'll see you guys at the pots. <laughs> There's one right there. Oh. Uh, one for you. Get one for you. Okay. Now you can see the little black dot right below the buoy. Mm -hmm. That's the triple tail. So you, you don't need to cast far, just right underneath it. Oh, that's too far. <laughs> That's the perfect cast. They just casted it like right on the white buoy. Oh, 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 I, I think he's going for it. You have to keep your bail open again. It's a live bait. Hold your line. He's looking at your bait. All right, this triple tail won't eat. We tried the Maharas and I tried a greenie. Uh, Karina tried a Mahara and it did look at the Mahara closer than like it was more interested in that than even the greenie, which was kind of surprising, but you know, maybe it was caught earlier today. So I see one, two, three more buoys close by that we could check. So if there's one here, there's a good chance that the other buoys have some triple tail on them, but hopefully they're more hungry. All right, let's see if this buoy has one. Oh yeah, there's one here. You got a bait? Yeah, uh, let's use that one right there. Yeah, that's better. Let me throw this bait in front of him and see if he is interested at all. Oh yeah, he's interested, he's interested. So once you get baited up, you could throw right in there and maybe, just maybe, it'll hit your bait. You can see him right on the right side of it, right? All right, it's not a big one, but good enough. It's a little far, but just flip the bale and reel it up closer to the buoy. Okay, that's good. Now open the bale. He's, swim he's swimming out towards it. I think he sees it. He may have eaten it. Flip the, flip the bale. Now just start reeling. Feel anything on there? No. Yeah, he's on there. Yeah. Reel, reel, reel. You got him, you got him. Woo! No. Oh, you lost him. Ah. Uh, you had him. All right, let's try a little greenie this time. There we go. Get him in there, get him in there. Perfect. 
Oh, he's going for it. Keep the bale open. He ate it. Ate it. Keep feeding him line. Feed him line. Let him eat it. Let him be calm. Let him be calm. Now come tight on him and start reeling hard. Real hard. Real hard. Real hard. There you go. You got him. Finally. Here we go. Swing him up here. Woo! <laughs> Good work. We got the triple tail we wanted. Oh, pin five. Pin five. Yep. Pin five. <laughs> Look at that pretty little triple tail. And isn't it kind of like a cool, like prehistoric looking fish? And yeah, if, if you look at those gill plates, look how razor sharp they are. Oh. He doesn't like us. No, he doesn't. So. Dinner? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately, this little guy is going to go back. What? Because they have to be 18 inches to keep. Although, triple tail really are one of the best eating fish in Florida. And I couldn't get enough of it. For the one only keeper that I've ever caught and kept, it was so delicious. You just better know that I'm not his friend. <laughs> there we go. Got the hook out. Oh, there he goes. All right, super stoked to get at least one triple tail, but unfortunately I just hit like five, six other buoys that I saw nearby. I even went a lot further than I wanted to go and I checked them all out. Didn't see any other triple tail, so I only spotted the two. Luckily, Karina got the one, which was nice, and that was her first triple tail ever. So now what we should do is go back to that first spot where we had the two snook, see if we can get maybe one more snook or a jack, and we'll probably just give it like another hour or so and then head on out of here. So let's get back to it. I don't think. Okay. I don't think this big one has been fished yet at all today. This one either. All right, perfect. So we've both got fresh new baits. Look at the size of that mullet. This one's going to get a 40 incher if it gets anything. Sadly, we tried this now up and down here for, I guess, another hour or so, and not another bite, or well, I think Karina actually had some small Jack Creval bite her mullet, but nothing could eat them. I don't think it was biting. I, I, well, I was trying to eat it, but they were, they were too small to even really bite the mullets that we're using. But I think what we should do now is go closer into the mangroves and switch to some smaller baits like the Maharas, Croakers, or Greenies and see if we could just get maybe some smaller snook, redfish, or trout. And I'm going to throw this one out just to swim on, his, swim on his own and maybe we'll get lucky and he'll get eaten. Karina, try out this little croaker. And all you want to do is just cast them like a couple feet off the mangroves. All right, well, since Karina's trying a croaker, I'm going to try a little Mahara. There he is. Come tight, flip the bail. He's on there. Nice. You got a snook on the croaker. Pull him over this way. It's not a giant, but at least it's one more fish we could add to the board. Oh, we tried to dodge the net. Nice. Good work. Thank you. Look at that perfect hook set. You want a picture of this one? Nice. Thank you. 
All right, now let's get him back. There he goes. All right, well, I think we're gonna wrap things up after that last fish. Unfortunately, we fished for like five more minutes and no other bites. And we would continue to fish a little bit longer, maybe to sunset, but as, like five minutes after releasing that last fish, all of a sudden the no CMs came out thick and heavy. Karina's getting attacked. And of course, the bug spray that I brought doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if it did then. <laughs> then we would fish longer, right? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> but it doesn't work. Allergic. So we're both getting eaten alive. And I don't think we're gonna do better than what than how we already did today. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.